What's up everyone, this is Share Talking, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're gonna talk about a lot of different news for once in Saga Universe. We just had a live stream over Square Enix Twitch channel announcing new content for the end of the year, but there was also a video from the Taiwanese community showcasing the newest banner that brings Christmas and press, Bokon and Noel. Well, let's go and check all the different slides. We are getting a new conquest that will give plenty of gems for everyone. It's Matcha Christmas conquest that will have even Hanywa and many different bosses. We'll be able to get some past limited styles. They are welfares as well. Moving on, there is also drops for testaments of might rank 1, 2 and 3, while also some gem medals and gold pieces. Plenty of good stuff. There is also a raid boss. They also announced 3,000 gems for free on 24th of December because that's the launch day and we are celebrating 2.5 years. Masanori Shikawa-san also gave us plenty of free stuff, 500 gems alongside many other stuff. They also talked about the current events, but we already talked about these on the channel. There is yet another 2,000 free gems to get with the home screen missions round 4. Very nice of them. And now the announcement of the banner. Christmas, Fire and Press, Volcon and Noel were a very expected the banner because Fire and Press has a global axis style that is pretty defensive, has the shield, and this version gives her an AoE attack that heals the party. That increases the utility of the character. But this and Press was buffed to become something very nice that don't even need the global axis style to perform well. Uh, but you can still interchange skills and use different strategies. Bokon is a dex to the buffer with access to poison paralyze, and Noel is a damage dealer that also has counter mechanics. But we'll talk more about them a little later. We also have a little more about the art of the characters, more information about conquest, call it White Christmas Conquest, and it seems like we're gonna get three different um weapons seems like one is made for impress other one for polcon another one for noel they work for different units as well depending on the passives so now we are on reddit in a post by hands 43 he translated all the information from the taiwanese video and compared all skills and status to the jp counterparts thank you once again for this amazing job Final Impress got a buff to her STR, reaching very close to the tops with 115%, and now so more will. That's nice because she can be used in boss fights for a lot of utility. They decreased her intelligence, but we don't want to use it anyway. She has 20% increase in damage by attacking weak enemies, and also fired up 6 for a total of 50% increase, but she gets 2 BP when she attacks and starts with 12, because she wants to use her skill number 3 on start. It's a 12 BP AoE attack with Slash and Sun, B damage that is fast, and grants defense enhancement that decreases all damage by 20% to all surviving allies. This is exactly amazing, and she can use it from the start, it will always activate before the enemy attacks. Since she gets 5 EP per turn, after 3 turns she can use it again, in that moment she will even stack, because turn 1 and then turn 4 means that in that moment she will have minus 36% in damage on average, and then it goes back to 20. If you are using other characters that buff BP, you get even better value if she can short the cycles. They also buff her skill number 2, that is a row attack with Slash and Sun and double S power. It gives her both an attack in a defense enhancement, so increases the damage potential if you want to use her for raids and farming. But one of her selling points is the first attack that is full AoE with Sun damage only, deep power, and only 2 BP cost that heals the whole party for around 150. And you can import this skill into the global access style and make her even better. You have access to Scrum Guard that decreases damage by 20% at all times as long as everyone is alive. Heal the party on every turn you want and even use the shield. Some fights that are shorter benefit from the shield. Very long fights may not benefit and you can choose different setups. Like you can instead import the skill number 3 and use it every 4 turns and have the scrum guard plus defense enhancement. Or you can just use this character by herself and like I said sometimes you even have 2 stacks of it available. 
It's an amazing character and makes the best version even better. It's a triple S grade for sure. Moving on, there's Noel, and they buffed STR Endurance and Wheel, so he's much better on long fights. He revives once in a fight and gets 50% of HP, there is 10% increase in damage, then also high protect tension for a total of 30% increase, and also receives 30% less when attacked. There is also 25% chance to heal, on the end of a turn and gets 4 BP. He really likes to heal because the skill number 2 recovers his HP by the same values, that being around 800, and it's a double hit attack. The first slash and blunt, the second just blunt. The damage is very good for the coast. I hope that in the future he gets a style that recovers BP when he attacks so that he can trigger this two times. And he also has a row setup. He opens with 10 BP with a fast attack that also grants him a uh, large attack boost and a medium defense boost, that means that is both offensive and defensive, and after that, if he does not want to save VP, he can just use skill number 1, that is also roll, but this time's only slash. Good opener for farming, then he can keep the damage going. Uh, this character is not so important, but it's nice to have if you get then the last one is Bokon, and he got a lot of buffs. They buffed his Endurance, Agility, Intelligence, and Will. Because he's a debuffer, he wants to go first, need high intelligence, and needs to survive. So it makes sense. His setup was kind of changed from JP. He now has a 37% chance to paralyze and also 37% chance to get 2 BP. Pretty similar to Kazinsi. The passive number 2 gives him 5% Dex to debuff any time he attacks, and also 1 BP. In the last one, he has 50% chance to evade any attack as long as all allies are alive. That is very nice, you can even place it on the front to evade some attacks. Well, he's all about the XRT debuff. Skill number 3, it's an APP B power attack with Blunt, that debuffs the XRT by 20%. Very nice, right? So it becomes 25 because of passive number 2. And you can just wait till he has enough BP to use this again, or just trade out, go for skill number 1. Since he gets 4 BP per turn, he can use this anytime. It's 15% plus 5, totalizing 20% when he attacks. So it's the best Dex or TD buff. He revivals Beauty, but Beauty may still be better if you need extreme high intelligence, since she buffs intelligence when she attacks. Uh, but if you are using buffers, this may be enough. Skill number 2 is a 5 VP AoE attack that can poison and paralyze. So, for only 5 VP, two effects that can be helpful in towers and some dedicated events, very nice to have. So, he is a premium unit that works for plenty of different setups. Although, uh, sometimes bosses just break any type of debuff you cast, there will still be bosses that won't do that, and Dex or TD buffs are pretty hair in the moment. He actually carries a lot of value. With all that said, I'll be giving this better a gold award because of Final Impress being so helpful in the game and also getting Bokon, a character that got changed so much that he became the best Dex or TD buffer and belongs to a debuff type that is extremely unique. While Noel may not be that important, he actually works with some setups, so that means that you can find value in all these characters. If you don't want to summon for that, you can wait for one week. We're probably getting either the next Leon alongside Anya in a story update, or maybe a Global X Christmas banner like we got in the past year. So if you don't have that many gens, wait for you to decide. I cannot say that it's mandatory to follow this Final Impress style, but it just makes the first Global Axe style so good, then it may be just worked, even if you have to pity. But that's my opinion. What is yours? Please say here in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye.